And here's a look at five icon themes for Ubuntu. This is just a random selection which I found just looking around the internet. The install instructions are in the description below. Uh, it's fairly simple. For one of them, you're actually going to have to create a folder under your home folder called .icons, and then extract a package into there. It's not too difficult, though. So these will work for the derivatives of Ubuntu as well, such as Linux Mint, Zorin, and Elementary. And to get it working for other Linux distros will require a bit of work, because you have to extract the icon folders from the DEB packages. Might also work for Debian as well though, but I know what you I know the advice there of not using launchpad repositories in Debian. For icons though, it should be fine. The first one I'm looking at here is Numix Utouch. The icons for the applications are well, rather colourful, but I'm not so sure about the icons in File Manager. They're a bit flat and basic. Most of the applications are there, but as you can see there are no icons for the firewall, Caden Live, JS Test GTK, I'll let them off because that's a bit of an obscure one. Same for Qt6a, that's a bit obscure. And there's also no icon for XBMC, which is a shame. But overall, rather nice and colourful. I'm changing icon themes with the Unity Tweak tool. So that's applicable for Ubuntu 12.10, 13.04 and 13.10. For Ubuntu 12.04, you can use the My Unity tool instead. The next theme is Mocha. There's a few different colours with it as well, but they just affect the folders in the file manager. So let's put it back to the original. Looking through the applications, you can see they're mostly just a rounded rectangle version of the original icon. Ooh, I don't know what's up with the GIMP image editor. That's a bit uh, pixelated. And there are a couple of applications missing. Um, ah, at least it's got one for XBMC. So a mostly complete set for my system here in VirtualBox. Next one is called A Like, but is also known as Plastico. The file manager icons are a bit uh, basic there, kind of like the GNOME ones. And for the applications, we can see there are quite a few that are incomplete. Those that are there are just uh, mainly of a rounded rectangle design. That's quite an assortment there, actually. It uh, definitely needs some more work on that set. The full icon set I'm looking at here is called Nitrux 2. All those folder icons are rather colourful, light blue, with the small icons being dark colour, and the same for the shutdown icons as well, they're all a dark colour. The application icons are square shaped. Again, um, quite a few that are here, there's a few missing again, like all that I've seen so far, but the major applications are there and available. And the final set is called FS icons. Now this one I could see myself using. It's a bit more of a colourful version of the humanity icons that are default set in Ubuntu. The applications have a very nice three-dimensional effect on them. They're really good, these icons. Very colourful, nice lighting effect used on them. There's a couple of applications missing on here. XBMC, although that doesn't look too dissimilar to the rest of the icons. JS Test, Caden Live, Mahjong and Minds uh, all appear to be missing. Oh, and the firewall as well. Default icons look like they could just about sit in or right against the rest of the FS icons. Yeah, definitely a rather nice set here. On well, the shutdown icons are a fairly light colour, so not too dissimilar to the rest of the humanity icons, which are default. So there you go, that's five different icon sets to brighten up your system. Thanks for watching, see you later.